Hello and welcome to my new video series about Light Guard Classes, which is a lightweight library for preconditioned checks in C Sharp. Light Guard Classes offers you a set of extension methods to easily check method parameters, conditional compilation of these checks, and the flexibility for custom exceptions and exception messages. But let's jump right into an example so that you can see how it works. Let's suppose you are writing a class called account for a chat application and every account should at least have a nickname. Then you would probably have a constructor that accepts a string that you store in a private field. If you embrace encapsulation, you of course have to check that the specified value is not null. And this is probably the most often applied check on parameters. You create an if block at the beginning of the method checking for null. And if that is the case, you throw an argument null exception with the parameter name, or if you use C sharp six already, you can use the name of operator to avoid hard coded parameter names. This is where light guard classes comes into play. You can download the library via NuGet as shown here. And afterwards you can include the light guard classes namespace to get access to its extension methods. Here we use the must not be null method to do the same thing as we did before with our if statement. You can also remove the parameter name if you don't need it to be included in the resulting exception message. This removes even more clutter from your precondition checks. When we debug the exception that is thrown, you can see that without the parameter name, light guard classes refers to the parameter being checked simply as the value. Whereas the exception message includes the parameter name when you pass it in explicitly. This is only one of the flexible options you can use to configure your precondition checks. While the must not be null check is probably the one you will use most often, there are a vast variety of other extension methods that come with light guard classes. Strings, for example, can be easily tested to see if they are null, an empty string, or contain only white space, and all this can be done in a single call instead of writing three different if blocks to throw the corresponding exceptions, as you can see in these unit tests. And there are also some checks that you probably never performed before, although you know you should have. Or do you regularly check that an enum value does actually fall in the range of allowed values? LightGuard classes contains extension methods for equality, for comparing numeric values, for collections, strings, as well as dictionaries, and probably a vast amount of other types in the future. In this example, you can see the must not be empty check for a good and the fluent way to specify the allowed range from zero to five stars for the movie rating. One of the most important aspects of LightGuard classes is conditional compilation. This means that you can include or exclude the calls to these methods when you build your project. This is done via the compile assertion symbol that you must specify in the project settings for the precondition checks to be included. If you remove this symbol, then the compiler will not include the checks in the resulting IL code, as you can see here. On the other hand, if you define the compile assertion symbol, your IL code will look like this. By default, I wouldn't advise you to turn off precondition checks, but if you absolutely need the performance squeeze for your project, LightGuard Classes easily allows you to switch between the two modes. Also with LightGuard Classes, you can easily customize the exception message. In this example, we provide a custom string to the empty good exception in the entity constructor, and you can do that with every extension method of the library. All of them have an optional parameter called message, where you can pass in custom exception messages. And if you want to, you can also throw custom exception objects. Just pass in a lambda or any other form of delegate that creates the exception when the check fails. This way you can easily and comprehensively customize your preconditions. Light Guard Classes is an open source project residing on GitHub. So if you want to, you can extend and contribute to the library. Also, you can find some further info on the GitHub page that I didn't discuss in this video. So in the end, what do you get? LightGuard Classes is a lightweight.net solution for precondition checks, providing you with default exceptions for the most common cases and conditional compilation so that you can easily include or exclude your assertion calls when you build your project. This removes the clutter at the beginning of your parameterized methods. 
And if you need to, you can also customize every assertion by providing custom messages or even your own exceptions. This way you have full control over your assertions and you can easily extend light guard classes with your own methods. So I hope you enjoy light guard classes. It is thoroughly tested and I actively use it in my own work, the iRescue Research Project. If you like it, please share it with your co-workers and friends. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye.